Hi and welcome to this new episode. In this episode we'll talk about how we can make an omelette. Yeah, an omelette. I'm giving you 10 seconds to do that omelette for me. Most probably you haven't done it. So let's take another 10 seconds Hopefully you can do it this time. Let's hope we have something like this. But in reality, we have something like that. The reason that we have failed the expectation of doing the proper omelette as expected, because we didn't have the time. The time needed to understand the why, the what, the when, and the how we can do things as expected. Change management is all about changing the feature of something over time. And that's very important to understand here. As we can see, change has nothing to do with transformation. Most people, they think they are doing digital transformation. But in reality, what they are doing is just more of a project management or a change management. They are not really transforming their businesses using, using the digital tools. Rather than they are moving from one aspect to another aspect. Let me give you this example. When you do transformation, you are shifting something from one thing to totally a different thing that works for you. In a change management, that does not mean change management is not needed in IT and digital projects. However, most people mistakenly think they are transforming their business, but in reality, they are just doing a normal change project. See, when we talk about transformation, let's have this example. This little cocoon, over time, is being transformed into something totally different into a butterfly and this is what exactly what we want to do in our digital projects. If we are talking about transformations, it's very important elemental that we have really a vision of the company ready, right? You cannot have a transformational company using digital tools available while you don't have a vision of the company. What do you want really to achieve as overall? What are your six months, nine months, one year kind of an objective? And also it's very important that all the line managers and all the departments are in line with this vision. So then the role of a digital transformation agent or, or manager comes into the play so he can help the overall organization to reach their objectives using innovative, creative, and useful digital tools. In order for digital transformation to work, there are three pillars, I call it the three P's plus one F, which we need the people, processes, product, and the fund needed to keep these projects going on. There are many ways we can do projects, transformation projects. We can move into the cloud. We can create an omnichannel experience for our businesses. We can move into an e-commerce uh, model if that suits us. We can invest into a blockchain. We can also do fintech and payments to transform our transaction processing. We can embrace Internet of Things if it's applicable. We can have artificial intelligence if that suits us. And last but not least, we can dive deep into data analytics and deep learnings. It's very interesting that I sometimes find some CEOs or owners ask for a holistic change in the organization and they really want just to follow the hype and they want to do a lot of digital transformation projects and that's fine you want to transform your company by all means do it but the role of digital transformation agent he is not a magician he will not just come and do the changes and leave you without having the foundational work done properly without having that vision why you want to do the transformation how it's going to help you what tools are you going to pick and how these going to be gauged what sort of kpis are you going to put over a long period of time so you can see the benefits and the return on digitalization of those tools
Thank you for listening. In the next episode, we'll dig deeper into what sort of tools that you can use in order for you to transform your company and what are the steps required for that purpose. Stay tuned.